Timestamps are in the description below. If you decide to click on one, it will take you to the news article of your choice. Hello everyone, it's Stephen Clark and friends here. Good morning, good afternoon and good evening, no matter where you are. Let's see what's uh, making news today, shall we? Whoa! Tourists find after wearing a piece of string bikini to a Philippines beach? We'll have a close look at that story. Cash handouts shelved due to a struggling economy. Some old falungs keep the Patia John TM vendors afloat. Free virus checkup for people returning to Thailand. Isn't that nice? Thailand could lose almost 10 million foreign tourists. That'll put a hole in their pocket. Thailand factories ramp up mask production. Great news. But first up, the girl wearing a string bikini on a Philippines beach. We'll have a close look at this. Very close. Tourist arrested in the Philippines for wearing a skimpy bikini that was literally a string. Yes, a Taiwanese tourist in the Philippines was fined $50 after being accused of wearing a tiny bikini which was just a string while on holidays in Boracay Island, the Philippines. She was arrested after shocking tourists with her mind-boggling skimpy bikini, which was compared to a piece of string. The tourist was warned by a hotel that the bikini was inappropriate and said to them it was like a piece of artwork, which I myself totally agree on. Well, somebody reported her and along come the police. The female tourist was from Taiwan and was on holidays with her boyfriend. The woman was escorted to the police station and fined $50 as there was no Malay police Chief Major Jess Balon said she was reported because the bikini was literally just a piece of string. We have taken this action for other tourists not to follow. While hotels and tourists have certain protocols in place, warning tourists on the official dress code, resort owners were warning tourists appropriately. The police chief added that the protocol was not very intensive, which is why visitors continue to break the rules. Officials warned tourists to respect the country's culture and tradition. Thailand cash handouts shelved due to the struggling economy. Thailand's Prime Minister has shelved plans to hand out money to low income earners in a bid to prop up the struggling economy. An economy now reeling under the added impact of the coronavirus epidemic and the strong Thai baht. The Prime Minister Priyat said the proposed 2,000 baht handout will not go into the cabinet. However, other measures were on course for consideration by the ministry during their regular weekly meetings. The handout was widely criticised on and off social media as a waste of money. Also, misguided priorities at a time when people are struggling to shield themselves from the coronavirus. A sluggish economy added to poverty has fallen dramatically over the past 30 years, but the downward trend is now reversing, above all due to the sluggish Thailand economy and the strong Thai baht. Over the past few years, Thailand's growth rate has dropped lower than other large developing Asian Pacific economies. The severe drop has also impacted the livelihoods of farmers and are already among the country's poorest. China's economy is in a downspin, due to the Chinese-American trade war, which has been devastating for China. Also now, the coronavirus outbreak has been brutal for China and could plunge the Chinese economy into its first contraction since, since the 1970s. 
Companies are struggling to reopen for business or hire workers during government's mandatory shutdowns. If the Chinese economy struggles, this will create a trickle-down effect in Thailand. Thailand has become dependent on China for investment and tourism. And for the People's Republic of China? Very bad news for services in the world's second biggest economy. Chinese factories also recorded their worst month in record in February as companies faced extended closures to contain the coronavirus or struggling to fill jobs because of the travel restrictions. Travel restrictions that are also affecting Thailand's economy. Unfortunately, Thailand relies too much on the Chinese economy, as do a lot of other countries around the world, including Australia. Old Farangs are keeping Patia's John Tian Beach vendors afloat. So they are good for something, aren't they? A vendor who has been renting out umbrellas and chairs for 30 years near the Dusitani Hotel have survived more than their share of crises to the near obliteration of the beaches by erosion, closures during its rebuild, the tourism downturns during the 2004 tsunami, SARS, political strife and numerous military coups. And they will get through the coronavirus as well, they said. Even after Chinese disappeared and other tourists cancelled plans to visit Pattaya, their regular customers of old Europeans who come to Pattaya for months remain. Each day the old foreigners arrive to sun themselves. They said Pattaya also remains a popular destination for ties from Bangkok and nearby provinces. They can still depend on families and groups arriving during holidays which is true a lot of people travel from Bangkok down to Pattaya you can hire an umbrella all day eat a plate full of food for 80 baht so if you're in the area call into John TM Beach I've been there many times it's a fantastic spot to sit and relax eat all you like and uh, relax in the Sun with a few beers John TM Beach Pattaya great spot check it out Hello there, if you are watching these videos, could you please help us out and push the subscribe button or click on the subscribe button if you like. It helps us out a hell of a lot. Be most appreciated. And now back to the video. Free checkups for returnees from Corona high risk countries in Thailand. The government is offering free medical checkups for all individuals including foreigners who have just arrived here or have come into close contact with those from high risk countries or territories already dealing with the coronavirus disease. For those who recently arrived from high risk countries or territories and are exhibiting symptoms such as fever, sore throats or heavy breathing have asked them to contact the disease control department. Such individuals are advised to stay in their homes as the government will assign personnel wearing spacesuits to go and pick up the individuals to be checked at hospitals and will return them to their accommodation all free of charge. However, those who don't fit the criteria will not be eligible for the free checkup, but are able to personally get a medical examination which could cost between 3,000 to 10,000 Thai baht, depending on the hospital. The nine high-risk countries and two territories defined by the Ministry of Public Health are Japan, Germany, South Korea, China, Taiwan, France, Singapore, Italy and Iran. The two territories are Hong Kong and Macau. Thailand could lose almost 10 million foreign tourists in a worst case scenario if the coronavirus outbreak is not contained soon, said the Tourism Authority of Thailand. Currently the Tourism Authority of Thailand is estimating total foreign tourists in 2020 at 34.2 million, down 5.6 million from last year's 39.8 million, which is considered a best case scenario amid the coronavirus outbreak. They said in the worst case scenario, the number could fall to 30 million foreign tourists or about 10 million lower than last year. As for revenue from foreign tourists, we estimate 1.5 billion this year or about three quarters of last year's total revenue. He added that the government said that the tourist authority of Thailand was 70% best case scenario and projection materializing. We believe that the outbreak could be controlled by the end of March, which means April could be the lowest point for the foreign tourists arriving in Thailand, they said. 
Tourism Authority of Thailand should have a conclusion on whether it should organise the Songkran Festival for 2020. We will discuss with the private sector as soon as there are public concerns about the coronavirus spreading by throwing water, he said. However, we still believe that the festival can be held by adjusting the form and the focus on cultural aspects of Songkran. Thailand factories ramp up mask production in an attempt to ease shortages in Thailand's hospitals. A representative of the mask factories has insisted they are ramping up their production, with all masks produced being sent to the authorities for distribution. The government pharmaceutical organisation has confirmed that surgical mask shortages at hospitals will be resolved in coming days. The Ministry of Labor has also introduced a measure allowing employees to submit reduced social security payments for their employees. The government's Coronavirus Information Center, that companies involved in mask production, said all companies concerned are increasing their production of masks, with the current maximum capacity now at 400,000 items per day. The company is delivering 350,000 pieces to the Department of Internal Trade and the government's pharmaceutical organization for redistribution. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Labor has prepared aid measures to prevent infected businesses from closing, including measures of allowing employees to take leave while receiving 75% of their normal wages. Another great move by the Thai government. <laughs> 